Good morning. Today I'm showing you a day in the life of working at Microsoft, working in tech, working full-time at a corporate company as an engineer is like. But we young Sarah in college had no idea what working full-time as an engineer after college or working full-time at a corporate company would look like at all. So today I am going to paint that picture for anyone in college or anyone wondering what working at a corporate company full-time looks like specifically hardware manufacturing engineering at Microsoft. Hopefully you can get a little bit of a better understanding. I am ready and open to answer any questions, so leave them down in the comments below if you have any open questions after this video. For those of you new here, my name is Sarah. I graduated college in May 2019, so I've been working here for a little over a year. And now I'm working as a hardware manufacturing engineer in Microsoft's cloud department. Now, if you don't know what the cloud is, don't fret. I honestly didn't know before I started my full-time job either. But in a short sentence, the cloud is a giant remote computer that when you use its services, you can access, whether it's for computing power or for memory. What makes up the cloud are these data centers that are spread all around the world. They're basically these giant warehouses that have servers, racks, power cables, other cords in them. And that hardware is what I work to help design and ensure their manufacturability. So right now it's 8.30 a.m. on a Monday. I'm starting work. I usually log in between 8 and 8.30 a.m. And the first thing I'm going to do is review last week's notes because today is Monday and I need a little refresher. And also review my to-do list, write down my top priorities, and review my email to see if there's any urgent messages. To give you a bit of a preview, I only have one meeting today at 5 p.m. and this is my monthly all staff. All the manufacturing engineers meet. Half of us are in Taipei, Taiwan and the other half in Redmond, Washington. And that's where I work. I live in Seattle and I commute to Redmond during normal times. Right now I'm working from home. I try to put all my meetings on Tuesdays and Thursdays if possible. So right now, tomorrow and Thursday, I have a day full of meetings. That way I can try to focus on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. But that's not always the case because the PMs and project managers on the project are usually in control of when the meetings are. So it's not a perfect situation, but I try to put as many meetings as I can on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's about 10 a.m. right now. It's been about an hour of email checking. Another 30 minutes just like messing around trying to get on track to get the Monday started and I'm gonna step away from the computer a bit probably do a little bit of reading take a little break go to the bathroom get some snacks and beverages breakfast all that good stuff but yeah all I did this morning was check email and I still have more emails to check oh email is such a bottleneck in working in the corporate world especially working virtually now everything is an email whereas before you could just you know shout your coworkers across the office but it is what it is I have been trying to look for ways to try to cut down the time I spend on email and find systems that work better, but I haven't quite nailed it yet. This is Jambalaya. Meet Jambalaya. She's a dog I'm dog sitting. Jambalaya's a little old, so we've been taking things slow. Hey girl. Yeah, you're sweet. This is my this is my outfit of the day. I let to still get ready for work but I try to keep it a little bit comfy and casual. Jewelry really does a trick. Like this outfit's not that exciting if not for this gold necklace, it really elevates it. So I've got a white blouse underneath that I got in the thrift store. Sweater is also thrifted. And biker shorts are from Nike and watermelon socks are actually from Amazon. Right now I'm setting up a work session. I typically like to work in 40 to 45 minute increments because I think it's just enough time to get something done but not too much time so it adds a little bit of pressure. And Right now I'm working on project managing one of the pieces of hardware I'm working on. I'm trying to be a little bit vague because I don't want to you know, put too much information out there, company confidential information. I'm a technical engineer, I'm not usually the PM but on this project we don't have a assigned PM so I'm playing the PM role. So I'm just checking in with our supplier, with the manufacturing site, making sure everything is on schedule. We're running some tests to try to drive down to the root cause of a quality issue we saw with this piece of hardware. So I want to check in with the testing, review the data, and make sure everything is looking good there. Usually we have a weekly meeting, but 
the supplier isn't able to meet this week so we're trying to communicate via email so I'm making sure I have all my thoughts organized all the weigh-ins from the stakeholders across the teams that are on this project from Microsoft so yeah a lot of email drafting at the moment and checking on the status of things it's lunchtime and we've been using this app called MealPal which you pay a monthly subscription and then you get meal credits for restaurants around Seattle and it's really nice because it gives us an excuse to leave the apartment during the day. And with meal Paul, I think each meal is about how much? Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine, which isn't really. It probably doesn't beat grocery store prices, but it's cheaper than what you would get at a restaurant. It used to be lower, but they raised it. Mm. It's afternoon now. I've been working for about three to four more hours since lunch and I kind of forgot to record what I was doing but I've been working on a variety of projects, mostly writing a root cause analysis for a quality issue that we have, opening up some of our designs in CAD and getting a screenshot because we have a new hire so I wanted to show him what I'm working on, scheduling some first article inspections. We do this for every rack we design just to inspect the first build coming from a supplier. and. Um, yeah, there's not much to film about it besides me typing away on a keyboard. You know, sometimes I mourn what my job could have been like in the old days when everything was still analog. And here's a little visual of what I would think that would look like. Then again, my job completely would not exist without our digital tools because I literally work on the cloud services. Although pre-COVID, I gotta say, it was a lot better. We worked with hardware in the lab. My team traveled a lot. I think I was traveling about once a month to go to each supplier, get hands-on work. But now it's, um, it's a lot of screen time. There's stuff going on in my head though when I'm looking at the screen. But on the exterior, not much exciting stuff to see. <laughs> Lock the way I'm 